Hey guys, this is Eric with Mediavine, and this is our weekly video series, Go for Teal. Uh, this week, we want to talk to you about lazy loading, in particular, lazy loading of ads. Uh, so here at Mediavine, we actually do something pretty cool for a speed optimization and a viewability optimization. That's known as lazy loading. So what is lazy loading? Uh, the idea being when a user first gets to your website, we actually are only going to load the ads that are in that first screen view when they get there. Uh, so that's typically one to two ads depending on the placements on your site. Uh, then as the user scrolls, uh, our technology is monitoring as they scroll through the page and sees when you're about a little over a screen view away and how fast you're scrolling there and we'll load the ad accordingly. Uh, the idea behind this is twofold. One, we're going to increase the page speed of your site. Uh, so most users are actually browsing your website on slow sell your uh, connections and page speed is so very important for those users. Uh, and really what they're considering page speed is how quickly they perceive uh, your site to load. So how quickly does that first screen viewer what they're first seeing on their phone load? And by keeping a minimal number of ads loading at that point, our sites are tend to be four to five times faster than most competitors uh, by only loading the ads we need to. Uh, so page speed is very important in, in why we do lazy loading here. But another reason is because of viewability. So if there's a, an ad all the way at the very bottom of your article, or let's say below your recipe card if you're a food blogger, chances are most users aren't going to scroll there. Uh, in traditional non-lazy loading, uh, you would just load that ad no matter what. Here at Mediavine, we only load that ad if a user is going to see it. So that allows us to achieve a 70% viewability uh, across all of Mediavine. That's pretty unheard of across 2,500 different sites. Uh, so really lazy loading is a key to our viewability. So you might be wondering why, why doesn't everyone do this? Well, there's two main reasons. One, it's actually a bit of a programming feat. Uh, so even though this is actually a best practice as recommended by Google and something they implemented in the AMP open source project uh, they're heading up, uh, and, and they even provide sample code how to do it, but it, it's still a little bit tricky to get into those nuances. How far away do you want to load the ad? Uh, you know, at what speed is it considered too fast and the ad will never be seen? Uh, so lazy loading adds a lot of uh, complexity, uh, but don't worry, our engineers are here to fix that for you. Uh, but the other thing is that uh, it can actually cost you short-term money. So remember, that, that ad all the way in the footer at the very bottom of your content, uh, with other ad management companies or, or other publishers, might load that ad whether a user sees it or not. So short-term, that's going to produce money. But remember, long-term advertisers are looking for results, such as viewability. They don't want to pay for an ad that's never seen. That's not how you reach your target market, right? So long-term, it means they're not gonna to continue to buy on your site. But by lazy loading, we're making sure you have a long, uh, prosperous site for a long time to come. Uh, so that's, that's kind of why we do lazy loading here. If you have any questions, please ask below in the comments. And remember, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on notifications. Uh, thanks, and I'll see you next week.